Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be part two of my How to Ride a Motorcycle series. Today, once again, we're going to keep it short, simple, effective. You feel me? And if I miss anything, y'all let me know in the comments below. But today, I want to focus on upshifting and downshifting. Now, I'm already on the bike. Oh, you know, I'm already ready to go. But I'm going to kind of explain both of the procedures, you feel me, uh, before I actually get going here. So, when it comes to upshifting, basically what we're going to do here is, obviously, uh, in the part one, it was all about getting going and stopping. But when it comes to the getting going part, right, I'm going to, am I recording? All right. I want to get going. And then this is where I'm going to initiate my upshifting procedure. So, in order to upshift, you obviously want to be in an appropriate speed where you do this. You're going to pull in that clutch. Take all the way that take all that power away from the engine. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna on this left foot, you're gonna use that your left foot here, and you're gonna shift up to the next gear, which will be if you're starting at first, you'll go to second. You wanna slowly release bro my ass here, but <laughs> hey, I wouldn't like that when I left the house. You wanna slowly release that clutch out, and you wanna gradually apply that throttle as well that's the basic uh principle or procedure for upshifting now when it comes to downshifting i normally do i normally rev match when i downshift and it's controversial a lot of some people don't um and a lot of people do uh but the main reasons i do it is obviously it does uh reduce wear on all your parts especially that clutch you know what i'm saying so i want to i want to preserve the most life i can get out of my parts right that's the first reason i do it It really does a lot of people it doesn't matter um but i nah, it matters to me you feel me and the second reason is also when you're when you're rev matching man you have that clutch in you're revving this throttle uh to get it up to the appropriate rpms people will hear you you know as you're normally when you're down shit then you try you're coming you're slowing down or you're probably about to come to a stop so that's why I use rev matching as well. So people will hear me when I'm down shifting as well, man. I can, I'm slowing down. You become more vulnerable, you know, the slower you get. So I just want to let people know that I'm, I'm slowing down and I'm right here, you know. But without further ado, we're going to go to upshifting, show how to upshift, you know, live demo. And then we're going to do how to uh, downshift next. So let's get to it okay here we go already good to go i'm put on my, my kickstand here and so first we're going to do upshifting when it comes to upshifting i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna go on that first gear let up my clutch roll on that throttle almost stall. don't worry about it i got it under control i'm gonna try to find it straight away here we're saying the same just like i described earlier you want to do is pull in that clutch up shift slowly let out that clutch you don't want to dump the clutch as you go launch <laughs> that's how you get them wheelies you don't want to you don't want to do an accidental willy up here and launch out of nowhere because even on 300 cc's it can get real it can get real dangerous if you don't know what you're doing but i'm in first so i'm going to shift to second right you want to gain that speed obviously you want to shift at a more suitable rpm but i ain't got a lot of space here so what i'm gonna do here wait till i get to this straight i'm just gonna show how to upshift so i'm gonna go to second i'm gonna pull in that clutch on the left upshift on the left i'm in second but now i have to control that clutch on the way out and depending on what speed you're going i don't want to stall out so i'm gonna apply that throttle as well and that is how you upshift you want to upshift you want to use every motorcycle is different so but you want to use when you're when you're controlling like it's manual transmission so you want to use you want to use the power band of the motorcycle how it's supposed to be used or how it's manufactured you know you can have a lot of torque up in the front end like obviously it depends on the leader of the bike as well but you want to use that whole power band effectively one more time i'm going to show how to upshift i'm in first pulling that clutch upshift let out the clutch roll easy slow all what are you doing look at this you see what i'm talking about ay 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 that don't make no sense i just down shit the boss show y'all how to do that you can
Okay. Really, really simple. Really, really simple. Next, we're gonna do downshifting using the, uh, the rev matching method. Like some people probably just, bro, if you, <laughs> you just dump the clutch, like yeah, you go, you go, depending on how fast you're going, bro, you go feel that. So, I'm just gonna upshift. All right, in second gear. I'm gonna use this curb up here as an example of a spot that I wanna just slow down and downshift that. I gotta watch out in this lot though. So in order to downshift using rev matching, this is the corner up here. All right, pick up speed. I see that in this corner here. I see this corner here and I wanna be in first gear. So I just had the turk available to come right back out, right? Hold in the clutch. While the clutch is in, put that, get to the appropriate RPM as well. That's what's gonna help you reduce. I didn't do it, but I didn't wanna really explain what I'm doing here. You wanna, that's what's gonna reduce that that wear here is what that rev method do, man. That, that'll sync up the speed of your engine with your transmission as well. And that whole gradual slow motion procedure is that's what's gonna help minimize the wear on your, your parts, your clutch, your drivetrain as well. But I'm just gonna go to second, right? So like I was saying before, to dash you, clutch in, blip that throttle so you get the appropriate RPMs, press down on your peg, you'll feel it, and you, you will hear that click. As you can see, I'm in first gear. And most likely because you're coming to a stop or you're slowing down, you may or may not want to hold in that, keep that clutch held in. Like as I came to the stop here, I just held in my clutch because I'm, I'm stopping. And I got my front brake as well. So you just gotta use all this in sync with each other. Okay, up shifts. I'm gonna down shifts because I'm coming to a stop here. Clutch it, lift the throttle, use that peg, shift down the gear, slow the release out the clutch. Well, I'm gonna hold it in. If you come into a stop, just hold it in. And I gradually apply your front brake as well. And that's basically how you do both of those procedures here. I'm gonna up shift. I'm in first. I'm gonna go to second. Clutch in, lift up on that foot peg. Slow to reach that clutch and gradually apply throttle. Gradually apply throttle right there. Okay, picking up speed. I'm just gonna shift the third, right? Clutch in, all right. Slowly release that clutch. You're done with the clutch. But I'm gonna shift the first. I'm in third, but I'm gonna shift the first. I'm just gonna continue shift. I do it for each gear, but I I, I blipped that throttle twice for each gear that I. So I went from third to first. I blipped it to go in the second and I blipped it to go in first. I think a lot of people, if they can, if they blip, if you go hard enough, you can probably only have to blip it one good time, to be honest. But I do it for each one. To upshift, clutch in, up on, shift into the gear, clutch out, throttle. See this little intersection here? Clutch in, blip that throttle, shift down. I'm in first now. Clutch in, front brake, front and rear brake. Brake, come to a brake, brake, brake. And guys, if I miss anything, let me know if I have missed anything. But those two, I wanna keep it pretty simple and foundational. I'm just trying to give the foundations here. And that is how you upshift and downshift. Guys, let me know if I miss anything once again. Until next time, I'll see y'all then.